Hello Scorpio with a reading for Scorpio. Um, I am going to be using my free form style today. Um, my friends, this, this reading will resonate or could resonate with anyone who has Scorpio in their chart, whether it's in the sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs, or however you resonate with Scorpio. Um, please remember not to make any life choices based off a of general reading, um, but to use this information as guidance and to help you think through um, the situation that you're in. All right, let's go ahead and get started here, Scorpio. Scorpio, as I'm getting into your energy, my face feels flush. Um, I have energy, hot energy um, in my middle back, which is telling me that there's some sort of stress and anxiety going on um, that has to do with, with your past in some way. So you could be um, purging out old energy, or you could be um, going through something that is reminding you of something of the past, um, because I do have this anxiety that's on the, on the, it's, it's from the ears on the back of the head down to the middle of the back is where I'm feeling this stress. So you could be really purging out old energy is what I'm thinking. And there could be something happening to you now that is purging out energy from the past. Um, so if something is oddly happening to you at this point, Scorpio, um, and you're responding to it in a way that's like strange, why, why am I responding to it in such, in such a radical way? Why is this triggering me? This could be something that's happening in order to get energy out of you from old, because as we're going through a shift in our outer environment, as we're going through a shift in the universe, we also have to um, pull out the, the same sort of dense energy that is within us. Um, and so you could be purging out old energy of something that's happened to you in the past. So if you're feeling a resonance with this, this is not going to apply to everyone, but if you're feeling a resonance to this, um, think about what you're going through now and how it could really apply um, to something that you have gone through in the past. And, and maybe there's a connection there. All right, let's go ahead and start. <clears throat> For your energy, Scorpio, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Justice Energy, and the Six of Swords. So even as I'm in your energy, uh, there's something here that you've been going through with the Five of Pentacles. I think this is um, th this is something that's really triggered you into a state of anxiety, fear of consequences, fear of events happening based upon um, something that you've done or something that you've said or something that you have been involved in. Um, it doesn't have to be that you've made a mistake or that you've made an error at all. It could be that you have um, something, this, this message is still here. There's something here um, that you are overcoming within yourself at this point in time. You are overcoming this fear of consequences, fear of financial consequences, fear of societal co um, consequences where you've done something or said something or decided to take a journey or decided to focus on something um, that maybe other people didn't agree with or that you would be doing something that is against um, the communal um, opinion or against the community opinion in some way. And um, whatever this is, <clears throat> I do feel, and, and it does have something to do with the words that you say and how you express yourself. Um, there's something here that you're overcoming at this point in time in the next week or two. You're overcoming this. You are moving through this um, because of your intention to do it, your awareness of it, and your um, uh, ability to find a, a belief system or make a decision or find clarity around this. Um, and that's going to help you through. You have the five of pentacles here with the justice energy next to the, to the six of swords. So you are uh, finding balance now within yourself. And um, this balance is, is something that will, will combine the feminine energy and the masculine energy within you. And, and we, as we're beginning to understand, or as I'm beginning to understand the yin energy, it is the energy of rest energy of care, energy of understanding what we believe in and the, and the question, why, why am I doing this? Why am I feeling this way? Um, why am I in turmoil? Why am I having anxiety? Asking those deep questions um, the the yin energy is a foundation energy. It's um, the reason why we do something. It's how come we are doing something. Um, and why are we feeling anxious? You know, these questions are the digging deep type of questions. It's a feminine energy. 
Um, the feminine energy is also about rest and relaxation, eating foods that not only make you feel good um, because you're following some some kind of societal um, regulation or some sort of professional decree, but foods that make your soul feel good. Um, that's what the yin energy is. It's looking for food that is comfort food that makes your soul feel good, makes you connected with the earth and with family and with who you are. Um, that is the yin energy, Scorpio. The yang energy around food is what, what are you supposed to be eating? What is good for you? What will help you be productive? What will help you get energy? That is a yang way of looking at food. So um, this is coming now. I Okay, so I'm flowing this. I don't even know this myself very much. So this energy is flowing out. So um, take it as it fits with you. It may not fit with you. Um, but, but there is a merging now of your feminine and your masculine within you. That's why you are getting this balance that's coming in. And once you have this balance in your life, you can begin to move forward. Here we have the Six of Swords. Now, the Six of Swords is also a yin type energy. What is the yang energy? It's the Six of Wands, right? Uh, with tarot, you can see some indications of this sort of feminine and masculine throughout tarot. Not not on everything, but some things you can really apply to this kind of concept. Um, so with the Six of Swords, where you're developing a belief system, um, you're, you're finding peace within yourself, you're understanding yourself, um, you, you're digging deep and, and finding resonance with who you are, not what someone else says you should be, not what the world says you should be, not what the Ascended Masters say that you should be, what you feel internally what you should be and why you should be it and how you feel comfort within it and how you feel strength within it. This is um, you merging from a damaged yin to a healed yin and then it's balancing in with the yang energy and then you're going to be able to move forward in your environment. Now, I'm really interested to see what this environment is that's around you um, because I haven't seen the cards either. I, I can see one card sitting up at me which is the energy of transformation, the energy of death and rebirth. So there's something happening in your outer world as well. So these energies do resonate even with that one energy. So um, this is for a group of you that is going through something like this. So you will know by now if this could be for you. Uh, if this doesn't resonate, if this doesn't make sense, then um, this reading is is perhaps not not for you, not for your not for your life template. Um, so. Um, what I really see here is you coming into a, a balanced place where you have less fear within you. There's something going on that is bringing you into a more peaceful place as you move forward into the next week or two um, ahead. All right, let's look at your environment that is around you now. Oh, there's a lot of energy here. Okay, let me, how am I going to do this? The sun, beautiful. All right, so what we he have here is a two of swords next to the sun, next to judgment energy, next to the ace of wands, next to the ace of swords, and then we have death and rebirth. Big time changes here for you. Uh, we we do again. We have the two of swords, which is a yin energy. Um, it, it can it. We see this internal balance now that you're finding. Um, this internal health, this steadiness that you're gaining within yourself. We're we're finding that it's starting to affect or starting to walk with or work with or merge with the outer the outer world. And so it's possible that you really needed to find this inner stability, this inner balance for you to step forward in your outer environment and be successful in that. Because when we have questions within, when we doubt ourselves or we doubt why we're doing something or we don't believe in it totally or we're questioning what we're doing or we're feeling tired or we're feeling at odds with our our, our outer world, it's really Really hard to to walk into a situation like this that's that's pumping right this is a pumping kind of energy that you're walking into Scorpio and so if you don't have that internal balance and that internal knowing it's really hard then to take this to take this outer environment and be successful within it so um, it's probably something that your guidance team was doing with you to bring you to a place that you could actually be um, so potent these are strong words that are coming out today, Scorpio. So this is deep and this is powerful. Um, if you're resonating with this, you will know. 
in it's not there's something here that you're doing in your outer world in the environment where where it's with you, with your with your family with a lover with a work situation out in the community doing something within the community a hobby that you have whatever it is in your exterior world there's something here that you have been really trying to um, get to the bottom of um, to make a decision about and it's possible that you didn't have everything you needed. You didn't have all the information you needed. Um, you, you, you had a fogginess around this. Um, there, there could have been something that was holding you back. You could have been at a stalemate where you had two, two different ways to go or even two different people or two different situations that were at odds with each other. And you were, you were just trying to piece the information together so that you could move forward. And when I'm in this energy of the two of swords, it is a real confused energy. It's even hard for me to speak through this energy. And I usually don't have trouble speaking through these energies. So it's something that you could have even halted your speech or it stressed you out in such a way that it was even hard to speak. Um, sometimes when we feel intimidated by life or we feel blocked by life um, or we feel like the people around us are, their energy could be stronger or more chaotic than ours. It's really hard to express ourselves in those kinds of situations. So whatever you've done here, whether you have put it down on paper, whether if you have recorded it or you have practiced it, or you just have found true clarity within yourself, you're able now to move forward into some beautiful new um, new energy here with the sun. The sun energy is a, an energy that helps us understand our true power, that helps us step into um, beautiful new situations for ourselves or beautiful new understandings about life or just feeling so very energetic, so very empowered within the self. Uh, when I'm in this energy, Scorpio, um, it is a thick energy. It is a dense energy. Um, and, and I do feel like this sun energy could be for you something that brings clarity to something very deep that you have been thinking about, that you have been considering. And when you have clarity, when you can see the reasons for things, uh, emotional reasons for things, why things have been the way they are, why your experience has been the way it is, why you have a fascination with something, or why you have such a pull towards something, why the question why and how will it impact your life and what will you do with this information once you have clarity with that with this two of swords that opens up so much for you that is the sun to you scorpio the answers that come to you the clearing of the debris that's that has been in your way that is the sun energy so whatever that is for you if that is a new job if that is a a, a new opening into a relationship. Um, this sun energy is a big energy. And I think for many of you, it will come into your life in different ways. But what it does is it opens doorways. It helps you see um, how far you can go in life, how you can transform your life. Um, it, it helps you see what life could be like um, with, with the sun energy, with this vibrancy, this potency, this copious energy right that you're having it's a feeling of a can-do spirit can-do spirit that's a practical way of saying it that's an earth energy way of saying it right and if you're taking about talking about a fiery way of saying it it's like let's get up and go the time is now i see what's going on it's time to move it's time to take action it's time to do this it's time to do that it is the time the time is now now that's the fire kind of energy let me get into the more emotional energy. Um, it, it is a feeling that, that, um, the, the source is everywhere. That energy is everywhere. That love is everywhere, right? It is within you. It is within the earth. It is within the people around you. It is a bigger sense, right? Whatever this is for you, there is something big and bold happening to you right now that really lights the heart center on fire. And when the heart center is fired up, when it's open and when it's bold and when it's shining that light out, um, you really can affect um, much more than you ever, ever would imagine in your in your environment that's around you. So whatever the sun is for you, it is big, it's bold, it's opening up doorways, um, it's it's creating um, an energy of abundance around you. Whatever your focus is, there is an energy of prosperity and abundance around you, whether it's a relationship, whether it's raising your children uh, in a way that can create 
um, happiness within your soul, whether it is finding health and vitality in your own body, whether it is gaining access to more revenue from a job or from a new client that has come forward, whatever it is, it is big and bold. And then we have the judgment energy. So something has changed here. Um, as we can see, there is um, a, a, a new version of yourself coming coming forward. And when we have new versions of ourselves that are coming forward, what happens? We have to somehow lose the old version of ourselves, right? We have to lose the old version and we have to move up into a new version. And how do we do that? We go through a process of cleansing. We go through a process of renewal. Now that process is probably something that you have been going through and it takes time to go through the judgment energy for the most part. It requires um, awareness of, of what's wrong in, in life or what's uncomfortable in life. It requires an awareness of how you played a role in that and what your role has been and what you can do to change your role. It requires clearing the energy around the situation. However, you do that, whether there's things you have to say, where there's beliefs that you have to um, change within yourself or modify or strengthen within yourself. And, and go ahead, look how my, my breath caught there. It's like a catching. That was interesting. That's going to, that's going to resonate with some of you where my breath caught like, what, whatever that was, that was something that was breathtaking for you. There could have been epiphanies here for you. There could have been major enlightenments that have come in for you, um, where it just took your breath away. Um, the realization of the truth for you or the realization of your own empowerment for you. Um, the, the realization, real, realization of who you are and what the world means to you and what the people around you mean to you. So, in, in this whole process of judgment, it does, it is a, it is a multi-step process, the judgment energy, especially for you, Scorpio. It's not something that just happens with a flip of a switch. It, there is awareness, there is enlightenment, there is, needs to be the ability to, to move through in the third dimension and, and make changes in the third dimension, whether it's having conversations, making decisions and moving through changes in your life or whatever it is. There is a cleansing process that's happening for you now, Scorpio. Now we move into the exciting part where we have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. I mean, there's some new flow of creativity here, right? There's something new that you're being pushed to take action with. It's something that your soul is stepping forward with, right? It's something that your heart and soul is stepping forward with. The Ace of Wands comes from the lower abdomen. It comes from the heart center. It's not from the mind and it's not from... It's not from the thought. It's from something that you're doing that it's just something that you're, it, it, there's no, well, the Ace of Swords is here, but the Ace of Wands comes first. So it's something that you're doing that you are pulled to do from your soul and from your heart. Uh, it's it, it, There's no question that there's a choice in if you do this or not, especially because it's next to the Ace of Swords. So there's clarity here. Right. This is all about epiphany and taking action in a new way. Excitement, enthusiasm for life, passion, chemistry, charisma. Right. It's it's about your soul coming alive in this period of time. It's almost like you have taken off a skin. And when that skin has come off, you are shining out from your under skin, from your under skin a new set of colors, a new set of passions, a new version of yourself. And with that comes clarity. It comes the foundation of new thought, the deepening of beliefs, the realizations of where you want to focus and the decision to move forward. So this, this Ace of Wands and the, the Ace of Swords are big time, deep energies for you, Scorpio. However, this applies. These energies are here. And just because we are um, talking to a group of Scorpios right now doesn't mean that you're all going through the same experience because you're not. You're all different ages. You're living all around the world in different places and different cultures. And you're all in different templates. You're all in different um, places within the template of the Scorpio people. And so you're all going through different things. But these energies for this group are here. And you will know if this is your story. Because there's something here that you're excited about, that you're truly passionate about, and there's something here that you no longer have questions about. It is clear. It is true. It is real for you. And this is death and rebirth. This is transformation. And this is how you step forward into it. 
is by having these realizations, creating a, a strong sense of knowing and taking action in a new way. This is transformation. And it is a multi-step process and it can go deep, especially if you're an emotional sign. It can go very deep. It can feel much different than if you are a fire sign, right? It can feel much different than if you're an earth sign. Now I am an, I am, a, I have a lot of Aquarius in me and I really have no water in me, but I have gone deep like this too, um, through this kind of energy. And it has affected my heart center and opened up my heart center by just going so very deep. So as we move forward in our experiences in this third dimension, and as we move forward into um, higher consciousness or in um, through throughout our processes that our soul has deemed to be important for us, each and every one of us, um, we start to implement the different elements within our lives. So we start to recognize, yes, I am a Scorpio, but I am very much involved in, uh, in, in the air and I'm very much involved in fire and I'm very much involved in earth. And when I'm rounded like that, that's when you get the Empress energy and the Emperor energy. And that's when you're all powerful and you can really make, um, very strong changes of transformation in your life into improvement, into exploration, into, um, beautiful experiences of love. Um, all of these really can start to come true when you are strongly balanced in all of the elements as we move forward. So, uh, let's dig deep here, Scorpio. We have a, we have a little bit of time here to dig deeper into these energies. First of all, I want to look, um, see if we can get, find more information about the sun energy. See if we can get more information about the sun energy. Sorry, I repeated myself there. More information about the sun energy. Seven of wands. The fool. I love it. That's what I was kind of getting here. The tower. Look at this. Big time. Well, with the seven of wands energy, uh, we, we do have self-protection here. And what truly is self-protection? We can go through all kinds of ways that we can create boundaries. Um, we can um, decide who we're going to talk to and we are going to decide what we're, where we're going to spend our time, what stores we're going to go to, um, what places ar around our community are we going to spend time in. We can decide what we're going to do with our, with our time, what we're going to do with our energy. But when, it, when it comes down to it, as we become stronger as individuals, uh, we start to realize that we have much more confidence about going into places that we, um, normally would have walked away from earlier when we were in a, um, a, um, an, an earlier life form of, of who we are now, if that makes any sense. So as we gain in strength, as we start to strengthen the energy around us, the aura around us, we begin to understand that our aura becomes stronger and we can go into places that we normally wouldn't have gone into, or we normally, or we could talk to people that we normally um, wouldn't have talked to. For example, um, I'm going through a strengthening as well in my aura, and I'm just coming to understand this now. And I've gone through many steps of creating boundaries, especially with a YouTube channel. And I've realized now that it is the, the, the first things we do to create boundaries is create, is create boundaries in our outer world. Learn who, um, the people are around us that are positive influences, that are abundant thinkers, and really try to stay with, stay focused on communications with those people, for example. Uh, find work, find uh, work throughout the day that, um, really uh, appeals to us and is, and is something that inspires us, right? Those kind of boundaries are important when we first begin. And then as we put ourselves into healthier places in our lives, when we can truly start to rebuild our soul and, and, and make the, our internal self stronger, just as you have been doing, Scorpio, we realize that there is something that our aura does. And to be honest with you, um, now I'm a feeler and I'm a hearer. I'm not so much a seer, although I do see images within my mind, little, little movies and things I can see in my mind, but it's not a, a it is something that's, that's maybe a little stronger than others. Um, but it's not what I would consider within my strengths, a superpower. My superpower is hearing, it's channeling and it's feeling. 
But what I've been realizing is, is when I'm stronger and when I, when I'm truly strong within myself, that it's not so much um, a worry anymore as, as what I spend my time doing and who I spend my time talking with. I can now do that in a, in a stronger way and it doesn't bother me so much. So whereas some kind of a, a, um, a rude comment or a mean comment or a judgmental comment now um, on my channel, I'm much more apt to respond to that kind of comment because it doesn't weaken me. It doesn't bother me so much. And I've been going through a little bit of a experiment with that, um, that people who might not otherwise have um, any power in their lives could therefore in the, in the comment section be so critical and so rude and so mean. Um, and it is now, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting journey. And I'm telling you, Scorpio, because I think that um, this is maybe something that you're going through in one way or another. We're all going through it in our lives. Um, it's, it's very interesting now that I feel better once I respond to those people. Um, and, and I don't respond in a mean way. I can respond in a very kind way, um, explaining myself, but I, I no longer take that kind of a comment and absorb it within me and have no response. To, to me at this point, it feels good to have a response to those people because sometimes those people are people that really are going through something very dark and very troubling and they could feel very, a lot of anger within them and to spend some time with those people and respond to those people in a loving way, I think helps me understand that I no longer need to hide under the covers or delete that comment from my channel. I can keep it there. I can respond to it. It, it's something that's there in our world. It's, it's not anything to be deleted, really. But it took me a long time to get to that point. I rarely have those kind of comments. And so when I do, it's something that really can throw me. And I have to realize that I don't know who that person is. And, and sometimes we can give a lot of power to people when that power should never be given away to anyone else. And this is a journey that I think a lot of creators have to learn how to deal with. And I know that even very powerful creators that have huge followings um, also still deal with this. This is something that we as a people have to deal with the energy of judgment. The energy of judgment is a big energy that that is being worked on now by the masses, I believe. Um, also, the energy of ego. But we're not talking about that now. We're talking about the energy of judgment. So I'm not sure why this is coming out, but but it's here. And so it must apply to this story for you, Scorpio. We have the tower and we have the seven of wands. So there's something here with, oh, I get it. With the seven of wands, it's about self-advocacy. It's about boundaries. It's about having the strength, the personal strength to walk in knowing that your spiritual steam is around you. Whatever you believe in that gives you strength is around you. And they're there within you and around you to help protect you. And while you may not see them or hear them um, or know that they're there in some way that is evident to the human mind or to the human eyes, you do have a spiritual team. And I know this to be absolutely true because I have one. And I can hear them and I can speak to them. So if you're questioning it, I was like that for many years. Um, and so I know that it's absolutely true that you have a team and you are not alone. Whatever you believe in, whatever you believe in, that is my, that is what I know as, as far as my own experiences. Now you could have a different experience. You could connect in with something else, but nevertheless, there is still energy around you that is helping you and you are not alone. So once we have an understanding of that and we can build our own energy centers and we can have the confidence within ourselves, we start to realize that we can say things that we've never been able to say before. And we can stand up and be alone in places we have never been able to do that before. And we can have conversations and have experiences that we've never had the strength to have before because we have this core strengthening that we're doing within the yin energy. And I believe it's this yin energy that has been struggling over so many centuries. The feminine energy has been diminished. And once we strengthen that within males and within females, when we strengthen that energy and we have our true beliefs and we know who we are and we know why we're doing something, that energy becomes very strong. And we don't even have to imagine the white light anymore, right? 
because we have it with us. We know that we have it. We no longer have to imagine it. We no longer have to see it around us because we know we have it. And there is an energetic difference with that. And that is what this group of Scorpios is, is moving through at this time. And Scorpio, I know the reading last week was deep like this too. And I do feel like my team is, is, is working with this group of Scorpio people that is resonating in such a special way now. Um, for, for some reason or another, it's your readings that are, have come out to be this 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 kind of deep emotional lesson or or I don't know, a transformation but it's it's a real trans it's a deep transformation that this group of scorpios are going through it's a deep transformation it will change the world and it's necessary to be done and um, for those of you that are listening to this that are going through great change that are learning how to strengthen your core belief system and the core of who you are you're going through something very beautiful and very new here with the fool energy you could be feeling excited about this you could be feeling um full of energy about this the tower doesn't seem to have taken you out the tower seems to have made you stronger that's what the tower seems we have it here it's almost like this tower has come in and maybe crumbled something in your life and it was difficult and you had to learn how to um, really rebuild yourself again with the seven of wands but there's something new and beautiful for you for you here connected to the sun energy let's go into the ace of wands now and in the extended reading i do feel like we're going to take this this situation and move it into the future and we'll dig into these energies just like we're doing here this reading is for the next week or two um, and then we'll take the extended out maybe into the end of May. We'll dig deeper into these energies. We'll see how these really resonate. Um, if there's people here, we will dig into those people and see what we can find. I might even ask very specific questions in the, in the extended. Who are the people around Gemini? Or, around Gemini? Goodness. Who are the people around Scorpio? Is it Gemini? I don't know. Why did that come out? That's weird. How, who are the people around Scorpio and, and how do they feel about Scorpio? We might go into things like that, but I think at first we'll take this energy out um, into the, maybe the end of May, early June. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. King of Cups. There you are. Beautiful Scorpio in action. Now this is a masculine energy. So once the feminine energy becomes healed with the sun, look what happens. Here you come with the, with the masculine energy. Now you could have a partner here as well. So um, this is going to be different um, for everyone. Here's the world energy next to the Ace of Wands. Four of Wands. I'm, I'm telling you, Scorpio, this is something special for you. Um, we do have the King of Cups. Now you could have a partner here. Um, let me let me do this as a, as a specific situation. Um, you could have a counterpart energy here um, that you are starting something new with with the Ace of Wands. It could be passionate. Um, it could be full of chemistry. You could be very sensual. It could be um, something that's quite expansive and quite empowering at this point in time. Um, and, and then we have the Four of Wands, which is stability, um, comfort. It is... Um, finding, um, uh, creating a shelter around this, a shelter, um, a, a basket around this, a shelter around this that, that formalizes it for you so that you feel safe and secure in, in the actions that you take and in the passion that you feel that it's not going to fall out from beneath you. So there's some sort of foundation that is building here, whether it's an engagement, whether it's a formalizing a relationship, whether it is um, finding a new job and signing a contract or, or bringing a, a new client on into your business or into your work and signing, signing a contract with that client. Something is br being, bringing stability here uh, with you in this. I'm going to have to sneeze. Woo. Energy shifts now. So these are energy shifts. So I, you know, it, it's just the energy within me as I'm flowing through these. This, these are big energies and they're shifting energies to me. So you'll, you'll, sorry. I, I mean, not, I'm not sorry. I'm just saying that it kind of interrupted the flow. But there's something here uh, that is really formalizing for you. It's big, it's new, it's expansive. Um, it's either you acting in your world 
in, in a way that is it within your true nature, Scorpio, uh, but making changes in the world around you in a masculine energy, or you're in a feminine energy and there's someone around you that you're starting a, a new relationship with or a new agreement with um, that is a counterpart energy and energy that works so well with you. It would be a different energy from yourself, but when you come together, um, there would be um, an intensity there that would create, create love, create passion, create pro a production, create a beautiful service, um, whatever it is, whether it's a job, whether it's something you're doing with another person in the community or a relationship you're in, um, it's something that will create, will add an intensity and will be, be very productive in one way or another. All right, let's look at the Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords energy. That King of, the King of Cups doesn't really want to go back in the deck. Let's look at the Ace of Swords energy here. Ace of Swords, Two of Pentacles, the Devil. Seven of Cups. So this is finding clarity, coming up with a strategy, making a decision. Over, oh, damn, overcoming fear. So there's something here that you you might be scared of. This might be quite intense. There might be a lot of intensity here with the devil energy. Um, you might be just trying to work your way through this. You might be trying to um, create some sort of routine or some sort of structure around this. Remember, you do have the sun with the ace of wands. This is very potent kind of energy. Um, and so you could be trying to ground yourself now and say, okay, this is really exciting. This is really um, I, I could get really obsessed with this kind of energy. I need to sort of figure this out and become practical in this. Let me make a list of list of all the all of my concerns, or like let me make a list of of, of everything I need to do today and everything I need to do this month. And it's kind of grounding yourself in this very powerful energy, making sure that you're not forgetting to do important things, making sure that you're not forgetting to ask the important questions. Um, sometimes when the energy is this big and this bold, um, we can really get pulled into something quite quickly. So I think with the two of pentacles, this is a good energy to have. It is making sure that you're juggling everything, that you're not forgetting some things. So it's a very grounded energy and it's, and it's nice to have. Um, with the devil energy, there is an intensity here. So there is um, a, a quality of this of this experience that has a real, real strong pull to it. It has a real strong pull to it. And I think you're you're really um, taking time now. You're understanding that you're taking time now to make a good decision with the seven of cups. Um, the seven of cups energy can really slow you down. It's a slowing down energy. And I think in this case, Scorpio, that's a good, that's a good energy for you to have. Um, the sevens are energy of change. And I think that you're understanding because there's this strong intensity here with the devil energy that it's important now to really, um, take some time and look at the different strategies, look at the different opportunities, look at the different ways you can do this. Um, because very soon now, um, it looks like you're going to be making a decision to move forward in a new way with a six of wands. So there's a lot of thinking here. There's a realizing what the situation is. It's full of energy. It's full of intensity. Um, you're taking time now with the, with the seven of swords. Remember, we're clarifying the seven of swords. You're taking time now to really kind of dig into the ways you can do this, the options that are there in front of you, I think that you sort of just have decided which one that will fit the best with you. And it looks like you're going to be making a decision very soon. And you're going to be walking forward in a new way, stepping out in a new way with the six of wands. Now, remember the six of swords is here. So now we have this, um, just what I was saying. So we have to trust the messages that are coming forward, um, that are coming forward through me that we have in the, in the yin energy is the six of swords, which is a yin balancing. And now we have in the yang energy and the yang energy, um, in the masculine energy, we have the six of wands, which is moving forward and finding balance and moving forward in a new way in our lives, out in our worlds around us. And people will see us doing this. People will be inspired by what we're doing. Um, we will be stepping forward in a new way. You could be putting on a new uniform. You could be stamping up in front of a crowd. You could be saying things that you've never said before. This is something that is seen. This is something that is recognized. It's not something that is secret. 
Um, it's something that is it's something that you can't hide from the world. It's something that you're doing that takes a lot of moxie. It takes a lot of strength. It takes a lot of courage. But you know that you have the skills and the capacities and you have the passion to step forward in this way in your life. It's a big energy. So this Ace of Swords is talking about looking through the data, looking through the information, finding the truth in the situation, just deciding on a strategy and then moving forward and taking action on that with the six of wands. We have death and rebirth, which is transformation. And that's the, that is the end statement of this reading is that we have transformation here. This is how you transform. This is how you go through the steps, whatever steps of transformation you've studied, whether it's the Abraham Hicks steps or some other steps of transformation, this is the steps to transformation. And here you are in a very transformative energy. If you look at the energy of transformation, you do see a portal um, that's coming through here and you have something new and big blasting through for you. All right, my friends, I think that's all for the general reading. I am going to move into the extended reading now. We're going to take this new beginning out into the future. I think we're going to look through May and maybe into the very beginning of June. And then we'll dig deeper into the into the energies that are there. And I'm going to ask some very, if it doesn't come out in the reading, I will ask some very specific questions about um, partners and um and the people around us too. Uh, that information might come out in the reading. And if it does, we'll just dig into it into it in the reading itself. All right, my friends, I hope this made sense to you. I know this was another deep and, and powerful reading. Um, it is always a pleasure to read for Scorpio, and I'm starting to really um, uh, look forward to these readings. I don't know how long this is going to go with this kind of strong energy, but I am starting to look forward um, to these readings in a new and different way than I did before. So um, it is fun for me, to, for me to do it, and I hope you enjoyed it as well, and I hope that it resonated with you, Scorpio. I wish you all the best, my beautiful friends.